Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for the 25th through the 30th of April 2013. Two significant coronal hole formations have rotated the eastern limb of the solar corona and I feel the energetic components of these coronal hole formations may be a foreshadow for a 7.8 magnitude earthquake during this watch. We're now looking at the latest coronal hole information via Solon.info where we see two powerful coronal hole formations on the Earth facing side of the disk. The coronal hole formation which is unnumbered in the southern hemisphere is moving into an Earth facing position April 23 into 24 and the very strong coronal hole formation in the northern hemisphere which appears to be more dynamic and energetic will move into an Earth facing position April 25 and 26. We're now looking at the latest WSA Enlil Solar Wind Prediction Animation. Now we do see the arrival of the high speed solar wind stream coming from this very large coronal hole formation located in the southern hemisphere and it is expected to become geo effective late April 23rd into April 24th and you should see solar winds rise from 300 to 520 kilometers a second. And confirming this data is a VSL animated forecast map which shows the earth represented as a black dot or the earth facing position rotating from right to left in this image and we have the coronal hole formations rotating into an earth facing position through April 23rd into April 25th. We're now looking at a loop of the last three days of EUV data. This is showing the energetic components within these coronal hole formations which are of interest for this watch. Now the strongest coronal hole formation is the one in the northern hemisphere as it has very strong magnetic fields extending outward and we do see that this is due to a rapid emergence of an active region 11727. Now this region has spawned over the last 24 hours and this is definitely worth keeping a close note of during this watch. We're now looking at this very large coronal hole formation CH566 a little bit more closely with the SDO193 angstrom moving imagery. Now this coronal hole formation is developing and it has doubled in size over the last 24 hours but the important aspect within this coronal hole is the emergence of active region 11727 which has also developed rapidly during this time frame. Now as we can see from these images this large coronal hole formation has expanded quite violently especially just north of the equator but I have focused on an area just underneath or just south of this active region which is the main focus for this watch and that is situated from 16 to 24 degrees north latitude. We're now looking at the 171, 304, 211 and 193 angstrom images and on all of these filter ranges we have a very prominent feature. Now I'm expecting the influence from this very large coronal hole formation to begin on April 27 and 28 and we should see a strong earthquake as mentioned from 16 to 24 degrees north latitude. Mapping this large coronal hole formation with solar symmetry to the earth, my number one area for concern is for the corners of the Philippine Plate, specifically Taiwan, Luzon Philippines or the Mariana Islands regions. My second area for concern for a possible 7.8 magnitude earthquake is just east of Central America, specifically the regions of Dominican Republic, or Puerto Rico. And the final area for concern for the time frame of April 27 to 30 will be for the regions of Myanmar or Yunnan, China. The last five days have seen significant earthquake activity here on the earth and this may continue for another week due to the influence of these two very large coronal hole formations becoming geo-effective. So we may see at least one or two significant earthquakes over seven magnitude before the end of the month. The month of April has already produced three devastating earthquakes that have caused significant loss of life. A magnitude 6.3 earthquake struck southern Iran, killing 40 people and injuring 1,100. A 7.8 magnitude then struck the Iran-Pakistan border region on April 16th. This killed 36 people and injured 150. There are conflicting reports with these totals. And then western Sichuan, China had a 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquake killing 161 people with over 6,500 injured and these numbers may continue to grow. Now these are significant earthquakes and we may see one more of these events before the end of the month. The magnitude 6.6 .6 earthquake in western Sichuan, China yesterday was accurately forecasted on the Solar Watcher website blog. Now these are available for subscribers and also for the public for anyone who's interested. This marks a 160th accurately forecasted earthquake on the site. 
Now it is important to note that we may have a coronal mass ejection en route to the Earth from a magnetic filament that did erupt on the 19th of April. And this may affect the Earth's magnetic field on April 22nd, so it's definitely worth keeping a close note of. So we may see geomagnetic activity or a possible rise in solar winds on April 22nd. We're now focusing on the southern hemisphere of the solar corona and this unnumbered coronal hole formation which is of interest for this watch. Now I feel this coronal hole formation does have energetic components which may produce a 6.5 magnitude earthquake on day 1 or day 2 of this watch, April 25 or April 26. We're now using the SDO composite moving imagery where we have this very big coronal hole formation rotating into view. Now there hasn't been a great deal of movement in this coronal hole over the last 72 hours, but there is a strong energetic component contained from 37 to 45 degrees south latitude which is of interest for this watch. And I do feel this may be the area which could produce a 6.5 magnitude earthquake. Now we're going to plot a map this large coronal hole formation in the southern hemisphere with solar symmetry to the Earth. And my number one area for concern is for South America, specifically the regions of Ace and Chile, Los Lagos, and to a lesser extent Bio Bio. The South Island New Zealand will be my second area for concern for a possible 6.5 magnitude earthquake on the dates of April 25 or 26, specifically off the west coast of the South Island New Zealand or the Alpine Fault. And my final area for concern is for the Prince Edward Islands region as this has been busy this year and there may be a strong indication of further shakes for the region. And that's my volcano and earthquake watch for the 21st of April 2013. For more information please visit solarwatcher.net where there will be more content for members and subscribers. Annotations will be added during and at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.